Thank you very much, President. As Commissioner Moscovici told our committee last week, the European Parliament is leading the EU institutions in fighting tax avoidance and money laundering. But we would never have been able to do this without the work of Antoine Deltour, the LuxLeaks whistleblower whose courage led to the setting up of a series of special tax committees. Daphne Caruana Galizia, the Maltese journalist who was killed by a car bomb last week, gave evidence to our committee about the tax affairs of the rich and powerful in Malta. These two brave people gave us the information we needed to challenge the corrupt and self-serving behaviour of the global plutocracy, behaviour that is shaking the very foundations of our democracy as people lose faith that the system works for them. One was found guilty and barely avoided jail. The other was viciously murdered. This is the sort of courage it takes to be a whistleblower in a world without protective legislation. How much corruption remains hidden because those who know about it are too afraid to come forward. The legislation that the Parliament proposes today would offer whistleblowers the protection they need.